Hello everyone, my name is Corey, you can call me Corey Mack, I'm a florist from Cleveland area. I am going to be teaching Puppy Hammer 101. This is my intro to Puppy Hammer, sort of, my first half of my intro to Puppy Hammer. So. I'm not going to really be going over how to spin it as much as like what it is, how to size it, um, and stuff like that, like a tech and theory, sort of like talking about the prop itself rather than like how to play with it. So a puppy hammer is a meteor. A meteor is a double-ended piece of rope. Okay, so like a poi has one head and a knob, a meteor has two heads, so a poi with two heads would be a meteor. We also call those meteor poi, if you just have something that's like this long with two heads, right? We call a traditional meteor, which is about like at your wingspan, so like this. And a puppy hammer is a meteor that is your wingspan plus enough inches to spin poi, if that makes sense. So this, and it's also long enough that you can wear it and you can do rope dart and stuff. So it allows for a lot of unique um, mobility with being able to play with it as a meteor like how I'm doing right now. And then also capturing and wearing it and doing other fun poi stuff. Right. So, how to size a puppy hammer. How do you know a puppy hammer is working for you? Because every puppy hammer is made like for you. Like every prop should be made for you. And this sort of comes down to like a style aesthetic you know figuring out how you want your prop to be length well the puppy hammer is very specific because your ground clearance is like very slim and you're kind of trying to get away with as much as you can you know you want it to be as long as you comfortably can go but that could be tricky based on your body type so a lot of things that come into the equation is first is your wingspan also um the size of your bicep and your height. So if you're really tall and have really short arms and that are skinny, puppy hammer would be ideal for you aesthetically because you'd be able to spin the longest poi possible. But because not everyone's like that, you're gonna have to find what's comfortable for you and you might feel like puppy hammer is really short and it's not that it is short it's that you are holding off a lot of length right so when i get in it and i get in the poi mode my poi are super short i'm spinning really short poi and i like long poi i don't like to spin short poi but i can and i like make the most of it because I know that I can let off a ton of slack and start spinning poi more like this, right? And I have very long poi all of a sudden. Okay, so now that the sizing is a little bit covered, wait, actually one more thing about the sizing, forgot. So a couple of rule of thumbs that I have is when it's folded in half, if you hold it at the base of your armpit, it's to just barely get off the ground. That's one I like to use. Another one that I like to use is your wingspan. If you want to just do it by numbers, you can measure your wingspan and you can multiply that times 1.47, which gives you a little more than times half of your wingspan multiplied to it. So it gives you about a quarter of your wingspan for a poi, a little less than that. Um, another good way to size it is based off of your forearm and stuff. So get in it and then hold it like this and it's just, just droop down to your elbow. Prada shot, right?
that's actually pretty much it I have for the sizing. I'm gonna move on to the Tech and Deary. I have some notes over here. So, I'm gonna show these to the camera. Um, I'll drop um, downloads for these files, but these are the capture modes and the ways to play with it. So the, here's six different ways to play with it and here's six different ways to wear it, right? This is trying to go over the tech and theory on it. I'm gonna start with um, the play styles then I'll go into the ways to wear it. <clears throat> um, so, we're gonna start with everyone's most popular favorite, my favorite at least, ploy mode. So ploy mode, right? And this is crow mode, or oxbow, we call it. It's basically when you are doing ploy-like movements, but you're not holding on to it anymore, right? And then you have meteor mode, Meteor mode is off body. You have this free moving mode called contact mode. Um, I mostly do it in horizontal. Woo! <laughs> ah, sorry, it's really tight in here. It's really not. I'm scared I'm gonna hit the tripod. Woo! Go like that. <laughs> Um, then there's dart mode, which is when you're grabbing one end. This is the only not fire safe mode. And then there's clock mode, which is like your fire safe dart mode. Like unless you do poi and rope dart. It's basically an asymmetrical grip of the puppy hammer. Clock mode is probably one of my favorites. I just feel like that's the most you can do with it. Was that all six of them? Let me check. Let me remind myself, hold on. So yeah, I went over the free moving, the crow, the poi, the dart, um, the clock. Yeah, that's all six of them. So I'm gonna go into the ways to wear it. Different ways to wear a puppy hammer. Um, this might get a little confusing. This is kind of nerdy stuff, but I do like to cover the vocabulary so people understand it when they're talking to other puppy hammerists. Um, the positions that you can be in with puppy hammer um, are notated like this. Back the, right now I'm in backside positive positive. We also call this home base. This is where I usually start people. This is the most stable and comfortable position to be in. And I will explain why it's called that right now. So backside means that it's wrapped behind my neck. So backside and positive means that it's wrapping on me in a forward spinning. So positive is forward spinning. Negative is reverse spinning. So if it's spinning in this direction, it's going to make a positive wrap. And if it spins the other way, boom, boom. Now I'm in backside negative, negative. Okay. This is backside negative, negative. And then you have the front side ones. So front side, positive, positive. And then back side negative negative and then of course you have um, the asymmetrical ones so um, I could do like them in ops I could have this one wrapped in positive and then this one wrapped in a negative but yeah I hope that is easy to digest um, that's all I really have to go on for right now. 
I like to show you guys cooler tricks and like how to actually play with the thing, but that's just sort of like a rundown on the tech theory, how to be comfortable in it, get comfortable in your own skin, get comfortable with this prop, you know. Toodaloo, my name is Corey Mack again. Thanks for watching.